All right, everybody, welcome back to Every Day with me, Nick, and we are in the woodyard, and it's windy again, <laughs> and my tripod's just fallen over. Anything else going wrong this morning? <laughs> Uh, it started up the day started off absolutely miserable raining like really really bad but now it's red off so i'm even going to take my hoodie off because it's that warm um but what have we got going on we've got the whole we've got the holes former fs35 kinetic log splitter that's going to be used today i've just got this um a little murray uh 12 and a half horsepower 40 inch cutting deck however the cutting deck has been removed uh, ride on lawnmower uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, it's got a tow ball on the back and um, yeah I've just pulled the uh, log splitter out because it's normally a bit of a chore it's not far away but it's, why pull your puddings out when you can let petrol power do the work for you <laughs> so what have we got we've got all these rounds to split today if we can that's the job that's the plan and um, yeah that should fill that bay and then maybe just maybe start getting into that bay so i don't think it will fill it all like but hey ho we'll see well we'll see how we go um i've got to get this splitter just over there by that blue pallet there and faced in a little bit because uh i aren't splitting here i aren't splitting here and throwing them back there so they want to be as close to the bay that i'm filling as possible um yeah it's all ash but no it's not it's not ash it's all beach this is all beech wood so yeah we've got a fair bit to go at probably around about three ton maybe i think something like that there was there was a fair few trees in among this so there were and they were weighted out around about 250 260 kilos each each log so yeah we're we're there so I'm going to get you guys positioned up with the tripod once I get set over there. Um, just because Jerry from Bigelow Woodcraft, check him out, um, he he said he liked watching the splitting videos. So Jerry, this one's for you. Happy watching, happy, happy video. So we've got some big rounds in here. And, uh, but they'll be all right they'll go through this splitter no problem to be honest most of them will split lovely by axe but um i just want to get quick uh, i just want to get it on get it done get it there's there's too much to do i've got way too much piling up and it's not getting done so um so yeah let's just uh we'll clear the area out over here and um and then let's get this splitter in position thanks for returning guys really appreciate it um how are you all doing tell me down below right sit back enjoy and watch me split There's the first victim that will be going through the uh, log splitter today. Uh, it's a fairly, fairly good size. Uh, it's about, I think this is about 14 inches long, right on the uh, limit of what my fire can take, but it will take it for length. Uh, well, it must be as equal, maybe it's 12, 12 or 13 inches that way, maybe it's 10. 11 across that way but it won't matter the fs35 connect log splitter will just bow, plow for a whiff so let's uh let's get this the tripod set up hello luna and uh let's get to it normally she's really good with starting she normally uh, has no issues usual case choke on and pull
a great machine guys but by gum she could be a bit noisy I, for, I, have, I forgot to put my ear protection on there as well so we won't be doing that again but um Oh, there she is. She had a bit of a hard time with that last one there, didn't she? I had a lot of, a lot of swirl on her. It was awful, awful love that one. Um, but nevertheless, it did get through it, as I always expect it does. And uh, I think you was around a wonk. <laughs> uh, but currently now, I have to go and take my uh, oldest, oldest little one. <laughs> oldest kid to uh, nursery so as soon as i'm back we'll get you guys on a time lapse and we'll get you and we'll we'll get all this done so uh, it would be nice with two people one to split one to stack one to stack one to split and uh i think the process would just be so much so much quicker so much more tidier any not quicker tidier well it would be quicker but tidier I think is the answer I'm going for because currently what I'm doing is I'm splitting and then I'm chucking and I'm just making a huge pile so just just off to the side there of the splitter it's making a huge pile of, uh, of, of split logs uh, which is what I want but I've got to then stop at some point stack it all up and start again so yeah not very good anyway i'm ra i'm rambling well uh we'll see you when i get back guys
right guys that's it done for today we've uh we've done quite a good bit of it here actually but i got talking with john up the road and you know that that goes but it's almost um full so we'll bring the splitter back out tomorrow and we'll do day two of splitting beach firewood so yeah just a quick one thanks very much for watching we'll see you all on part two day two of splitting firewood with the kinetic log splitter take it easy guys we'll see you next time